verbal riot. What's happening, y'all? Welcome back to Verbal Riot, man. I'm here to talk about The Crow. Just saw it yesterday, and I got a lot of things to say about it. But before I do, I got to tell you guys, man, over the past couple of weeks, it's, it's been a roller coaster for me when it comes to watching movies. I saw Deadpool and Wolverine, which I loved. Great film. Right after that was Borderlands, which was hot garbage. Probably the worst film I've seen in years, if I'm being honest with you. Right after that was Alien Romulus, which I actually liked. A lot of my friends didn't like it. I stood by it. I say it's an okay movie. Probably my fourth favorite in the franchise, if I'm being honest with you. And then I see The Crow. And guys, I got to tell you, they really, really dropped the ball on this one, man. I, I don't know how you could screw up a Crow movie. And somehow they managed to do that. And, and, and the worst part about this for me is that I wanted this movie to do well. I wanted this movie to do well. Guys, I I have friends who have seen this movie days ago, maybe even weeks ago, and I've heard all their reviews. I waited. I actually waited until yesterday to go watch it because I wanted just to hear what everyone had to say first. And even with that, even though I heard tons and tons of bad reviews, I still went into it thinking, okay, you know what? I really like Bill Skarsgård as an actor. I really like this guy. And I'm like, I'm going to give it a fair shake. Even though I heard nothing but bad reviews going in, I was like, you know what? I heard you guys. I'm going to go in there with fresh eyes, fresh ears, judge the movie for myself. Because, hey, there's a lot of movies I like that my friends don't like. And there's a lot of movies that they like that I don't like. Right? And as adults, we should be able to make up our own minds about the things that we like. So I want to go in there with my judgment and see if I would like the film. And yeah, man, this movie's bad. It, 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 and when I say bad, I don't mean bad like Borderlands bad where they don't even try. I mean, bad as in they did try to do something different, but what they did was not, it, it wasn't, it just didn't fit. It, it didn't work in 2024. It just doesn't work. Guys, I'm, I'm, I'm going to paint a picture for you real quick before I get into my review, okay? When the original Crow movie came out, 1994, Brandon Lee, that movie was more than just a comic book film, okay? Because it is based on a comic book by James O'Barr from the early 90s. It was more than that, man. It was like this voice. It was like the movie of a generation, if I'm being honest with you. If you were, if you were, if you're Gen X like I am, when that movie came out, you were just becoming an adult, and there was a shift, man. There, things were different, right? It, even like music, right? We went from the glam rock of the '80s, and we we're going to the grunge era of the '90s, and there was just this feeling of things were different. And this, and this movie kind of captured that attitude. I'm talking about the 94 version <laughs> with Brandon Lee. It captured captured the attitude. It captured the angst. It, it, it captured the, the excitement of, of, of that time. And then you add to that the, the mysterious death of the lead act, the lead star, Brandon Lee, who died on set making the original Crow, died in makeup, died as the Crow. It just, it, 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 it added that much more to the mystique of this film. And at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it was just a very good love story and revenge story. Like you, you felt everything Brandon Lee did in that film. And it made sense because of the way him and his fiance died in the film, in the film, the characters. And this movie, this remake, it, it, it captures none of that. Like, none of that. And, and I'm going to get into why uh, right now. So I'm going to start my review of the film. So basically, it, it is a remake, guys. Okay? It's not a reboot. It's literally just a remake. But done in a very stupid way. You have Bill's, uh, Bill Skarsgård, again, who I like as an actor. I like him a lot. 
I have not been disappointed with his movies until now. And I'm thinking, okay, you know what? You know, a lot of people didn't like the way he looked when the trailer came out, when they were doing the promo uh, steals. They didn't like his new look. I Even that, I was okay with. Even even the, the mullet and, and I, that look, this look right here, I was even okay with that. Again, I just want the movie to be good. But you have this character, Eric Draven, and it, he instead of him already being with his his the woman he loves, he meets Shelly, the new Shelly, and I can't remember the actress name, unfortunately. Forgive me, guys. She's kind of forgettable, if I'm being honest. But he meets her in a drug rehab place. Okay. And the original Eric Draven was this rock. He was, he was, he was in a rock band. He was like, you know, a rock star. And, you know, there was just a story around him, you know, before he gets killed where in this movie, he's a troubled drug addict. He has some childhood, uh, childhood traumas and becomes a drug addict. And that's all you actually know about the character. And just like in the film, in the, in the 94 film, they get murdered in a very mild way. Because again, in the original Crow, they die in a very violent, very messed up way. She gets assaulted, sexually assaulted, before they kill her in, in, in the film. And he has to watch it happen. So... All of that rage, you feel it. You feel it as an audience member for him. In this, they die by, both both characters die by uh, these mob guys putting a bag over their head. Sure, not a great way to die, but nothing like the original film. And so when he goes on this revenge tour in, in this movie, it's not satisfying, guys. It, it's not satisfying. And that's the least of the problems. The bigger problem comes with the fact that none of these characters feel like real characters. In in the original movie, you had Michael Wincott as the villain. Michael Wincott. Guys, he's one of my favorite actors. No one plays a villain like that guy. And if you don't know Michael Wincott, man, look him up and look up his movies. But... You have this new character, this, this new villain who has these supernatural abilities where the original villain doesn't. You know, this this new villain makes a deal with Satan centuries ago. And uh basically the deal was, you know, he brings new souls to Satan and Satan keeps him young, not young, keeps him alive. Basically gets him immortality as long as he keeps up with his part of the deal. And he's very cartoony. Very cartoony, very non-threatening to me, other than what he can do. Where Michael Wincott, like he just he's menacing. It, it just it just wasn't good, man. Like I, I, I you know, they they and, and the worst part for me is they try to do so much with the story, right? Like I said, in the original Crow, nineteen ninety four, it was just a simple revenge movie. Uh, complicated in, in a ways where it needs to be complicated but at the end of the day it's a b c the end you know hour and a half long straight to the point this movie tries to do so much they try to do so much and they fail at every single turn man they they try to give more backstory to the crows and 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 the afterlife and all these things that really don't work. They add this new character in this world between worlds that's that's guiding this new character, uh, Bill uh, Skarsgård's character. And it, 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 they just waste so much time. They waste so much time. It, it, it's just, it's just, for me, it's just not a very fulfilling film. And in a, in, in a time where People are just getting tired of mediocrity. It seems like this just adds to that. It adds to all the mediocre to bad movies, man. This wasn't a bad movie. This wasn't a bad movie. It was mediocre. 
mediocre. And if you feel okay dropping 20 bucks to watch a mediocre film, hey, do it. Do it. <laughs> you're, you're a grown-ass person. You make your own money. You make your own decisions. If you want to see this movie, go watch it. And I'm not telling you not to. But understand, you were warned. <laughs> you were warned, man. Um, yeah, guys, honestly, uh, you know, at the end of the day, a critic is just there to guide you, right? A critic is just there to let you know what they thought of the film. Okay, I, I just didn't think this was a good film. And maybe I'm in the minority because I looked at Rotten Tomatoes, which I'm going to bring up right now. And if you look, I mean, the audience score is 66%, or I'm sorry, 65%. The critic score is 22%. And this is one of the few times I actually agree with the critics. But the audience score is 65%, right? So maybe, I mean, people liked it. 65 isn't the best number, but it's not It's not the worst. It's not the acolyte numbers. It's not 13%, right? <laughs> but, you know, 65%. That, that's, that's about half. That's about half. And if that's enough for you to drop your money, then go for it, man. But my thing is, if you go into this having seen the original movie, do your best to not compare it. Because you're going to be very disappointed. <laughs> very disappointed at every turn. I I fought. I tried not to compare it. I literally tuned the first movie out of my head. As much as I love that film. Like I said, if you're part of Generation X, that movie is ingrained in you. I, 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 I couldn't do it, man. I couldn't do it. Anyway, guys, that's my quick review. I, I didn't want to make this a super long video. I will say that, you know, I had a conversation with a friend of mine yesterday, and we were saying, we were asking, uh, he asked, do I think uh, Alex, uh, I'm sorry, Alex, that's his brother, do I think Bill Skarsgård's uh, uh, career is over after this? And honestly, no, man. I, I think Bill, I think Bill Skarsgård has built up enough goodwill. I think he's had enough good movies that this one film isn't going to kill him, man. It's, it's not going to, it's not going to move the needle too much. But I, I will say this. I will say this, considering how fickle Hollywood is right now, he needs to choose his next role very carefully. If I were him, like he has to be very picky about what he chooses to do next. And to be honest, I, I really, I really, I'm, I'm rooting for the guy. I'm rooting for him because like I said, I like this actor. So I, I want to see him succeed. I hope he does pick a better role. And, and, and thankfully, to my knowledge, he's not blaming the audience the way the director of the film is blaming the audience right now. I saw I saw an article earlier where I, the uh, director says something like, you know, the, the people who didn't like it need to go outside and touch grass and, you know, get a life. And, you know, he's butthurt that people didn't like his film or his version of The Crow. He's angry. But you know what? Dude, you make garbage, people are going to call you out. And this this was garbage. So, hate to disappoint you on that one. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Like, share, comment on the video. And I'll talk to you soon.